So today I'm going to show you how to do sequence alignment in Python without needing to save any intermediate files so everything's done in memory and is super fast. It really only takes two things. For our aligning algorithm we're going to use MAFT and then we're just going to use BioPython to handle our sequences and so we just need to import a couple things from bio import seek.io and we need to import subprocess and we need to import from IO import string IO and then let's import our sequences I have just 500 SARS spike protein sequences that we'll use as the test sequences so we'll just import this list seek IO dot parse FASTA they're just normal seek records. And you see we have 500. Okay, this is really super simple, but let me show you first what's happening. So what we need to do is write these sequences to standard out and then import them as standard n in a maft command. And we're going to do this all in Python. But let me show you what this would look like if we ran it in Linux command line. So it would just be a maft, and I'm going to use quiet, so it doesn't output a lot of stuff to my screen. And then we would run this on this file, and then we could pipe it to a new file, say, aligned file. So this is what it would look like if you were to do this just in command line. But if we cat test 500 sequences, we can type it to maft. So this is the same thing as the previous command. You'll still get the same aligned file on the end, but I'm just showing you that you can use standard out as input to maft. Oh, sorry, you need to do this. This signifies standard out as standard in. So this would give you the same thing as the previous command. So we're going to emulate this command in Python, and I'll just go ahead and run it here just to show you 500 sequences it should only take a couple seconds now we have the line file okay so the first thing we want to do is convert the sequence object into a string so we're going to do for seek and seeks and let's make a new variable called seek string and just set it to nothing so for seeks and seeks we want to append to seek string. So we'll add on to it. We need to keep FASTA conventions, so we need to add a FASTA header. Seek is a seek.io object, so seek.description. And then we'll add a new line. And then we'll add again to the seek string, but this time we'll add the sequence, so seek.seek, but we need to convert it to a string because it's a seek object. And then again, we need to add a new line. So basically, you're just taking this seek.io list and converting it into a FASTA. The FASTA is one big string. So if we look at seek string, see we have a FASTA header, and then we should have a new line right here. That's exactly what we want. And then we're going to make a subprocess called child. So we're going to say child equals subprocess. And we're going to use popn. OK, so for subprocess, what it does is it runs a Linux command line command from Python. So we're using subprocess to do this command up here. And the input to popn, we need to break this up into a list where the list is broken up by the spaces. So we're going to do maft quiet and then dash just like we have it up here. And then we need to specify pipe for the standard in and for the standard out which is subprocess.pipe then we need to write a standard out so that it can be taken in by this command. 
So we're going to make the child dot standard and write, we're going to write seek string, but right now seek string is a Python string. We need to encode it into bytes so that it can be used in the standard end for this command. And then we'll make a new variable called child out. And this will be where we write the standard out from this command. So it'll be child dot communicate and then zero. Um, it just returns a list and you want the first item. And then we're gonna decode it, utf8. This is basically just the opposite of what we did here. We needed to encode a string to be used by the command and then we need to decode the output to be used in Python again. And then now we're gonna read this as a seek.io object again. So we'll just call it seek aligned and still the same seek.io dot parse. And then this is where we need to use that string IO that we imported earlier because seek.io normally inputs a file and we're just gonna use child out and then wrap it in string IO. We need to specify FASTA format. And then finally, we need to close this. If you don't close this and you run this multiple times, you're gonna get errors. So we need a child dot standard in and we need to dot close it. And that's it, so when we run this, It'll align it just like we did up here. We're not saving it to a file this time. We can do that afterwards if we wanted to. Now instead, we have an aligned sequence object here. And just to prove it, I'll do a simple printing of the lengths. So for seek and seeks, print length of seek. All right, you see some are 1274, some are 1271. But now if we do seek aligned, we see everything is the same length because they're aligned. And that's it. Super simple, but super useful, especially if you're doing many alignments, like in my one SARS map project, which I have a video of, well, I aligned 6 million sequences using this same methodology here.